Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So we're going to check out some new items that's been added for a brand new month in October of the train. So we got a new month. And now we're going to see what's been added to the train post. This came out on the day, on the 1st of Sunday in October, which is Sunday, October 1st. We're going to see what's all we can buy from this month of the training post. Now before I go there, this way right here is a brand new mount by doing the travels log by getting 1000 points and this is the broom mount which looks like that and, and this mount right here is now all year long. You don't have to use the hollow zen mount where it's seasonal so now this is a uh, year long mount so you can use it whenever you want, like f forever and ever. This is no seasonal mount, it's, you can use it anytime you want. So this is a new model for a blue mount. And it's for Hollow's End, kind of cool looking. But if once you get your points in to 1000, this is the mount you can uh, you will get. So let's go ahead and check out the trading post. Anything you want. Right. I have. So, uh, this one costs, uh, 700, tra uh, travel, uh, travel, what's it called, the uh, coins? The, uh, oh, it just costs 700, uh, tokens. And, uh, this one's not new, this is, I think, last month. So, yeah, this is a mount called Dim Cold Frame Core. This is what it looks like. This mount came from a Legion raid back in a Nighthold. You can still get them. There's like a red version and a uh, green version, and there's like a blue version. When you collect so many amounts, you get a blue version of this mount. So this is a new version you can buy from the train post, which costs 700. Uh, okay, so next we get a pet. This was from the in the store now it's been added to the train post and it costs 650 tenders so you can buy a little physically uh, this is a pet uh, next we got a fish weapon costs 525 tenders and it's you can use it for an X mark for anyone that uses fish weapons uh, next we have a uh, Death Knight weapon, which is Death Knights only, and it's called the Web Serenite Weaponry. This is an axe, this is what it looks like. Uh, we got a sword, and another sword. A two handed sword. And this one must be one handed sword, I think. And this is a two handed sword. So, this is the Death Knight weapon. You can only use it on a Death Knight only. Uh, next we got the Ashman Blessing of Rebirth, and this is a Druid weapon. You can only buy this for Druids only, costs 500 tenders, and this is what the weapon looks like right here. And this is another weapon. So it's for Pharaoh, Boomkin, and Tank and Healer Druids for their spec. That's why there's four specs. And then we got a Staff. And then we got another staff, which looks like that. So this is the first staff. And then we have that. And then we got that. So this is for druids only. This costs 500 tenders. Uh, next, we got the headmaster skull scap, which costs 500 tenders. This is what it looks like. It goes on your head. Uh, next, we have the... Uh, Headmaster Command, which kind of looks like a weapon from Skullerman's Dungeon, but now it's high definition, which is HD, so it's like a reskin of a, a new uh, weapon model. Kind of cool. And this costs 500 tr uh, trenders. Alright, next we have the uh, Natharia Bladespear Glaives. This is for Demon Hunters only. You can only use this on a Demon Hunter. And this is what the weapon looks like. It's all greenish. This is a, uh, I think a glaive. I don't know. But this is another one. This is like a, a weapon. Kind of cool to use. Uh, 
for anyone that plays a Demon Hunter. Remember, you can only use this on a Demon Hunter. And this costs 500 tenders. Uh, next, we get the Guildred Dragon Morningstar, which costs 450 tenders. This is a uh, mace, so if anyone uh, can use maces, this is a good weapon for a transmog to use. Uh, next, we got the Web Serenade Exoskeleton. Again, Death Knights only can only buy this. So if you're a Death Knight, you have to uh, buy it if you want. This costs 450 tenders. This is what it looks like on a Death Knight. That's the helmet. This is the shoulders and the waist. So pretty interesting if you want to use it on a Death Knight. Up next, we get a another set. This is uh, Drids only again. So Drids, if you want to buy this, this costs 450 tenders. And we got the head, the shoulders, the waist. So this doesn't really look like a Drid to me, in my opinion. Looks like a more like a Paladin set to me. But it says for Drids, so I guess this looks like a Drid set for you. So again, 450 tenders if you want to buy the set for Drids. Uh, next we got the uh, Nathory Blade Spear Flames. This is a nano armor set for Demon Hunters only. So if you play Demon Hunter, you can only buy this on a Demon Hunter. And we got the shoulders, head, waist. And this is what it looks like on a Demon Hunter. That costs 450 tenders. Uh, next, we got a new toy. It's called Imp in the Ball. And uh, this is what the toy looks like. It's basically some kind of imp in the ball. And it costs 350 tenders. Uh, next, we have the uh, Feathered Cow of the Guardian. This is what it looks like. If you want to buy this, this costs 225 tenders. If you remember, this came with a whole set of the Guardian back in the training post i don't know when i think i think i think it's like july maybe that, that came out or june i do not remember but this is the uh, guardian part of the set uh 225 tenders next we get the helm of the fuse this costs 225 tenders this is uh what it looks like uh next we got the um cage eye of the watcher and this is what it looks like. It's a uh, offhand weapon. 225 tenders. The granny old hat. This one costs 175 tenders. Uh, this is like a witch hat. So if you're going to use it on a uh, to dress up as a wizard, this is what you can uh, use it on. Again, this costs 175 tenders. Uh, next, we got the. Uh, Gleaming Mail Tabard. This is what it looks like. This is a, a Mail Tabard armor. Pretty cool looking. Uh, 125 tenders. And then we got the Shadow Mail Tabard, which looks like this. Uh, yep, this is what it looks like for the for this one. Uh, 125 tenders. Uh, next, we got the uh, Feather Drape of the Guardian, another part of the uh, Guardian set, and it's cost 100 tenders, basically a cloak, this is what it looks like. Uh, next, we got the Unsamed Wanderer Living Trappings, uh, with this coin cost 100 tenders, and this is a cloak, just a green cloak, and then uh, this, and then all that. Alright. And then we got the well, well-worn Grimskull uh, cinch. It's a, a waist. This is what it looks like. This is what the waist looks like around your body. So if you want to buy a waist, go ahead. This one costs 100 tenders. Uh, Unsamed Vangbind Livery Threads. This is in a cloak and a head. In a head. So if you want to buy this, you can. Uh, this one costs 100 tenders. This is the Wine Silk Hammer, it's a mace, so if you want to buy it and use it, you can only use it on a mace, so go ahead and buy it if you want. This one costs 75 tenders, and then we got the Shifty Merchant Tunic, 
it looks like this. This is what it looks like. This one cost 50 uh, tenders. And now finally we got the drape of the endless twilight. This is what it looks like. It's a cloak. Uh, this one cost 50 tenders. So uh, there we go everyone. That's all the items that's been added that you can buy off the train post. I already bought this one because it's, it's a mount. And I'm already Spirits working on my you. Uh, broom mount. I'm almost done. And then I can uh, wipe my uh, broom mount. So yeah everyone. Hope you guys enjoy your new items from a brand new month in October of this train post. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Hello everybody, it was your master here, and thank you very much for watching this video for a brand new month from the train post, and I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and a like, and make sure you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click that bell, and follow me on Twitter at your master, and follow me on Facebook at your master, and follow me on Twitch at your master for more live streaming. And also follow me on TikTok at your master. You can also give me more questions. You can put them in the comments below. You can also put them on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and also on my Discord server as well for a future Q and A video. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna be ending this video, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.